As fighting continues in the Democratic Republic of Congo, the Wazalendo group was seen carrying their weapons, clothes, moving on the roadside. The Wazalendo group that contains youth Congolese men and women who decided to fight against the M23, they joined hands with different rebels known as Nyatura, Mai Mai, FDRL, and so many others who decided to join the Wazalendo group to fight M23 were seen leaving the Lions of Salambwe area, the M23. After fighting, the Wazalendo group decided to vacate the area. More news coming from Democratic Republic of Congo. It is now confirmed that a Kenyan soldier was killed, who is part of the East African Community Regional Forces, was killed on Tuesday yesterday in Kibumba in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo following an ambush by rebels. This is the first death ever, ever since uh, the regional forces went to Democratic Republic of Congo to restore peace. In November 2022, East African community decided to solve problems in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo by providing army and also sending troops in the Democratic Republic of Congo. South Sudan, Uganda, Kenya, Burundi decided to join forces and uh, send troops in the Democratic Republic of Congo to fight for uh, citizens in the Democratic Republic of Congo who were being killed and attacked by different rebels, uh, most especially ADF, M23, and so many other different rebels in the Democratic Republic of Congo. East African community soldiers who were sent there to restore peace and security, it is now confirmed that one of them who is now a Kenyan was found dead yesterday in an ambush. The 38th Regiment, the 34th and 12th Regiment, they have brought the 34th and 12th Regiment, and they have brought the 34th and 11th Regiment, and they have brought the 34th and 4th Regiment, and they have brought the 11th Brigade of Reaction Rapide. Et comme cela ne suffisait pas, ils ont amené encore des unités spéciales, des JR, qu'on appelle les Ibou. Et ils ont amené l'œuf de l'or, ils ont amené l'APSLS, ils ont amené les Nyatura, ils ont amené tous ces bandits qu'on appelle entre guillemets, euh, soit disant que ce sont des patriotes, alors ce sont de, de simples éphémères de chambre. Hii yote ambao mnaona ni vifaa ambao tumewatoa. Na hii ni kidogo kati ya hii minga ambao tumetoa. Tume tous ces matériels que vous voyez aujourd'hui, c'est l'échantillon. Nous avons récupéré tellement de matériels. C'est une nouvelle arme qui est utilisée par l'unité spéciale GR, GR, la garde républicaine. Major William Goma presented the weapons captured by the M23 from the FRDC Machineries Coalition and the Wazalindo Coalition during the defeat. M23, which has continued to fight with the Wazalindo group, managed to capture some weapons from the FRDC soldiers and also the Wazalendo group. Major William Goma explained how the M23 managed to capture weapons from the FRDC soldiers and also he was trying to give more details about the weapons. Those weapons have serial numbers and the serial numbers, it, they show where the weapon com comes from, it shows the manufacturer, it shows more details about the weapon. It is confirmed the weapons were from the FRDC soldiers. President Felix Shekedi said that he must fight the M23 at all costs. He must use all ways, all tricks to fight the M23, which is true. As a Minister of Defense in the Democratic Republic of Congo, it is confirmed that he is the one who bought the weapons from Indonesian country and also supplied them to the Democratic Republic of Congo Special Forces. And these forces were seen carrying same weapons as they were fighting the MO23. 
Democratic Republic of Congo is still facing challenges of militias. Now there are 130 rebels in the Democratic Republic of Congo fighting and also capturing so many different areas. DRC is preparing for elections in December 2023, but it is so sad that they are still facing so many different challenges from the militias. Staying, thank you so much for watching.